A volunteer Tulsa County deputy is now facing a manslaughter charge in the fatal shooting of a black suspect during an undercover gun operation. Prosecutors say 73-year-old Robert Bates was negligent for shooting Eric Harris with a handgun instead of a taser. Okay, there is a lot to unpack there. How do you mistake a, a handgun for a taser? And what is a 73-year-old volunteer doing taking part in an undercover sting operation? <laughs> we actually got a possible answer to the second question, and it was not good. Many wonder if Bates' close relationship with the sheriff led to this assignment. Over the years, Robert Bates has donated several vehicles, including a Dodge Charger, a Crown Victoria, and a Toyota Avalon. Okay. Giving away cars should not qualify you for law enforcement. At best, it qualifies you to host The Price is Right. At best. At best. Look, this is clearly a tragic story, and it was not made any better when, for some reason, Bates decided to apologise in the most uncomfortable way possible. First and foremost, let me apologise to the family of Eric Harris. You know, this is the second worst thing that's ever happened to me, or first. Never happened to me in my life. I've had cancer a number of years ago. I didn't think I was going to get there. Luckily, I was able to go to a hospital where I had hours of surgery. Uh, I rate this as number one Mr. on my list of things in my life Mr. that Bates. I regret. Okay. Okay, so it was either the worst or second worst thing after that time you got cancer, but then got better. <laughs> now, let's be clear, the only thing you're a victim of here is a creepy six-hand massage. <laughs> and, and Bates is not the only one at fault. This is also on the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office for letting a 73-year-old man act as backup on a firearm sting. Because there are many things that we should allow 73-year-olds to do without putting up a fight, like use the phrase, the Hispanics, or <laughs> get into fights over cribbage matches, or sign their name at the end of Facebook comments. <laughs> but, but I think we can all agree, when it comes to law enforcement, to paraphrase Danny Glover, a 73-year-old man is literally too old for this shit. <laughs> and finally, finally this week, I'd like to talk...